Check out how well this little guy blends in in the environment. Might take a while for you to find it, but I can guarantee you if I pick it up, you'll see it. So this right here that I've caught is this brown winter grasshopper. This is a pretty pale coloration for these. Usually they're a bit darker with kind of yellow on the abdomen. If you can see it has a pretty distinctive head shape where it's kind of like has a very smooth rounded out looking head, big eyes, and it's paler on the top of the body than the bottom. That's basically the best way to identify this species. Really interesting species, a pretty common one that I see but still cool. This right here is the nymph of our target rarity species of grasshopper. Now bird grasshoppers, like this one right here, are hard to identify as nymphs, so let's find an adult. About a month after catching that nymph, I'm finally able to get my hands on an adult Schistocerca cerealis cubense, a subspecies of bird grasshopper found in Cuba and also the Florida Keys in a little bit of South Florida. These guys are identical in coloration to the very similar but much more common species in South Florida called American bird grasshopper. They are best differentiated by their size and proportions. The cerealis cubense on average is smaller with more compact looking proportions, and when rested, the wingtips of the Cerealis cubense rest closer to the tip of the abdomen than they do in the American. Just by looking at it, the proportions of this individual looked a little off for the American bird grasshopper, but after some measurements, the ID was confirmable as Schistocerca Cerealis cubense.
very interesting looking species. I love those alien eyes and that slimy face. I'm going to let this nice rarity go. Light her. That would be some nice B-roll, I guess. <laughs> 